Hello everyone, glad you can join me for part two of my Hitman series, following the misadventures of Bang Bang Barry. Now if you missed the first one, the premise of this series is we're going to murder people only using the shotgun or explosives. Because Barry has a fondness for, for loud noises and explosions that make him feel alive. So last time we successfully uh, blew two people up in Paris and now we're going to go to Sapienza so I'm not sure if we're going to see the shotgun come out this time around. But yes, we've got two targets here to kill in the world of tomorrow. And we also have got a sort of tertiary objective in destroying a virus. So I think we're definitely going to have to cause an explosion for that one right first bits of our loadout we've got pistol which is not going to be used with our shotgun um, yeah maybe maybe we go for our nice Italian suit now last time we went for the micro explosive But maybe this time we want a macro explosive. Something incredibly big, needlessly big, in order to blow up that virus. So a remote CX demo block. High risk of collateral damage. Yeah, okay. Let's spring from that one. Now, smuggled items. Well, the ICI safe house. I think we're probably going to go there, so let's stick. Got our shotgun. Got our explosives. Um, boop, boop, boop. So, the virus is housed in a sort of underground base. The two targets are in a mansion. So, there are some key card doors, I know that, so I'm not sure. Maybe, maybe a remote breaching charge. We'll bring that with us. And starting in the main square, yep, that's fine. Right off we go. So we have Silvio Caruso and Francesca De Santi. So the first order of business, I think it's gonna to be to get into our safe house. Welcome to Sapienza 47. Silvio Caruso's family home is right across the square. The bioengineer suffers from acute travel phobia, so the Ether Corporation has installed a state-of-the-art field laboratory somewhere below ground. Expect security levels to rise as you get closer to the virus. Good luck, 47. So there's our couple's fancy house. We're just in this beautiful town. Barry's on holiday. I think Barry is the type of person who shouts loudly when trying to speak in another country. Not because he's racist, but because his eardrums are so destroyed. Now this couple arguing, they're very important. So what they're arguing about is uh, a guy on the top floor needs to get to work. So he works at the mansion. He's a uh, he's waitstaff. Now, our little safe house happens to be in the same building block as him. Got a dirty little <laughs> sleeping bag on the floor. And right, we've got our breaching charge here. Ooh, explosive golf ball, you say? Sounds exactly the kind of thing Barry wants. Now, the gentleman upstairs is going to be getting ready. We're going to exit onto our balcony. I think it's about time we retrieved our shotgun. Yes. Our little love. Beautiful. 
now we're going to pop into this man's house. I'm not entirely sure where he is. And I'm going to nick his clothes. There we are. Barry's away. And just a handy little drop down. There we are, so I do that. I'm turning up for my shift. She's going to see us. Can we get round her nice and quick? Easy, does it? Oh, he's after us as well. No worry, don't worry about that. Oh. Now the door on our right just over here, that I do know is an entrance to the lab. We have to get around this dude. Quick as you can. There we are. So we're going to have to remember that place. The last tray by the toilet. Ooh. What scientist? I have to come back for his clothes later. But now we've got our explosive golf ball. And we're going to try and make our way through the house to the gardens. Oh, there is golf. There's his golf set. Excuse me, gardeners. Now, if I place a golf ball in there, it's suspicious. These guys are all facing away. Let's pop that in there. So, easy. Hopefully, he's going to explode at some point. But, Francesca DeSanti. How's Barry going to kill her? Maybe if we get ourselves close to her. The explosion going off will give us a nice distraction. That is Silvio Caruso. There he is. Not sure if we'll have the time to get up there. If he's going to practice his golf swing. Yes, come on. Come on. Let Barry hear that sweet, sweet noise. Everything's so loud when there are an explosion. I need it to quiet down. Sweet, sweet bangs. Oh, don't tease me, Silvio. Come on, son. Really put your back into it. Big old swing for Barry. Oh, oh that's what we want. Over the hedges. Down into the garden. Now, where's your missus? So we've still got our shotgun. We got a door explosive. And then a big enormous one we're saving for the virus. So I think we've got a shotgun there and get out. Alright. Camera there. Let's avoid that. Go through the window instead of the door. Oh, apparently we're not allowed to be in here though. Right. But we're also not allowed to uh, explode things. Oh, 
she on this note I think she's a floor above still can we sneak through Ooh. place is fancy the mansion master key back of gunpowder I'm entirely sure how we can use a bag of gunpowder. <laughs> oh, drain pipes. That's Barry's way in. She does not seem as yet informed about how the scientists explosion. Now, since we're trespassing anyway, we might as well have our little bang bang out. In we go. Safe combination. Now, this, I believe, is her office. She's going to come through with a guard. We're going to hide in this box. See what she does, where she's going to go. That is Francesca DeSantis. Oh, yes. Bang! Oh, a beautiful double bang. Now, away we go. Now destroy the virus. No, not down there. Let us go back the way we came. Because we know it and I'm scared. Right. Oh, we could have just walked out that door. So down we go. Little bit of collateral damage, but that's alright. I wonder if this will take us. Could do. Let's fucking blow it up. Barry's having a great time. Whoop! Just a small one. Even the little explosions count, though. <sighs> And now we are down here in the lab. Unfortunately not dressed as a scientist or a guard or anyone who is allowed to be here. The virus prototype will be close by. Look for some type of quarantine unit. Don't stop stop looking at us. Dudes down there. Can't jump off over this way. But maybe Barry plays a little bit of misdirection, eh? Maybe come and investigate that, son. Maybe take a nice little walk up here, eh? Come into Barry's loving arms. Oh, I thought he was going to come around the other way. And nice, there we are. Now, let's get into your drawers, son. Now, just because it happens to be here, there we are. Beautiful. Now, those two won't notice who I am. That is good. Yes, we were just having a conversation, weren't we? About Italian Phoenix. That dude will know who we are. Now, I don't have a key card to get in there. That is a problem. That dude's gonna see me. 
Where the fuck are we going to go? Extra ledge. Alright, Barry, you've done well so far. Now just one final explosion. Can you get on with your holiday? Well, that dude will know who we are. But the others won't. Nice. Come on. Yeah, come on. Easy does it. Oh, another one. Always. Oh, <laughs> right, we're almost there. Crowbar. I don't know if we're going to have to break open any doors. Ooh. That camera is in a nasty spot. Maybe. Now, we hate to do this. But there we are. Oh, thank you, thank you, sir. Leave the door open for me. Don't, don't no you worry. Not the first time. Yeah, that's well, been said to me, sir. Hey, there we are. Now there is a hazardous virus in there that we're going to blow up. So maybe Barry wants to pawn a mask, keep safe. Hello. Right. Can't believe how well this has all gone for Barry. Hmm. There, in the sealed container. The virus oh, blend in. I don't know if there's any way to get these guys out the room. And that's going to do something. Manual override this robot arm. Warning, dangerous compound. Dangerous compound, you say? Warning, dangerous compound. Processing. <laughs> okay. Who left that? Who left that beeping away? Oh, hello. Oh, no. Someone help him. There we are. Well, I mean, <laughs> that was one witness taken care of. Let's all get out of here. Let's run. Oh my goodness, who could have... Who could have seen this many explosions coming? Oh ho ho, away we go. Now I am very impressed with how smooth and easy that was. No getting trapped in an attic this time. Straight in and out. No challenges, though. And three stars again. That seems to be, you know, roughly where Barry's at. That's the kind of assassin he is. Three stars, he'll get you there nice and comfortable. You know, he's got, he's got charm, he's got character. Right. That was episode two of Bang Bang Barry's Misadventures. On episode 3, we will be going to Marrakesh, I believe, to kill a Swedish ambassador and a army general who are planning their own little coup. So we need to put an end to that. And I think it is one of my favourite levels. 
I think there is lots of room for explosions as well. So I hope you can join me for that one, and I hope you've enjoyed episode two. I'll see you all soon.